Aunt May. I didn't know you'd still be up. Is everything okay? Peter, didn't you see on the news? Oh, that Spider-Man saved my life today. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I, that's incredible. He was so heroic, so brave, so, so manly. Uh, mm, that spider body. Peter, I'll tell you, I haven't felt this way since I met your uncle. Oh, what do you mean? Peter, I want to fuck Spider-Man. Aunt May! Oh, Peter, you're 18 now. You can hear that kind of thing. Jesus, just... Wow. I know it must sound silly to you. I mean, I'm 74 years old, but I'm not getting any younger and Uncle Ben's been gone for probably two weeks now. So it's time for me to get back out there. Not like this. Wait a minute. You know him, don't you? You take pictures of him for that, that newspaper. Do you have any with his shirt off? But what would, what, but what would, but what, but what would Uncle Ben say about you seeing other people? Well, he didn't mind that when we were married. Nope. Not even, I'm not even going to ask about that. Besides, why, why would you want to be with someone who I, I hear is genetically mutated and is a smoker? Ooh, a bad boy. I'm from an era where smoking was cool. You know, while he was carrying me away to safety, I think I could feel his... And he has tattoos and, and a gambling problem and, and, and does cocaine. So do I. To all three. You know what? I know the perfect thing. Oh, this used to work on all the boys in junior college. I'm, what are you going to do? I'm going to put on my slinky cocktail dress. Spray on my best perfume and dangle off the ledge of the Chrysler building. What? Boys can't resist a damsel in distress. Any minute now. Any minute.